Now for our IP API application, we I want to install the uh, Laravel Passport. So for installing this, we, I just need to run and the command here for Composer. So we say here Composer require, and then this is going to be Laravel Passport. And it is going to install the package for us. It's just installing it. Once this package is added into the application, uh, we have the um, information here. We can run the migration here PHP, artisan, and migrate. And it creates few tables for us. If you go to the um, PHP My Admin, Laravel API, here you can see we have few tables. We have some access tokens, so uh, these tables are here. So, yeah, we will be seeing. Now, here the app is going to be the same because we haven't done anything there. Now, what next we need to do is we need to use uh, the passport inside the application. So, we need to make some changes in the configuration files. So, here I'm going to open the uh, files here. First of all, what we need to do, we need to go into model. So, I go app and models. We have user model here, and here uh, we have here currently it is using Sanctum uh, as API tokens. Uh, what we need to do use we need to use Passport in this case. We are going to change this to Passport, uh, and basically we needed to add this line, and the use has API token. So these two things are here and present. So that's totally fine now. The another thing we need to do is we need to go inside the app uh, providers and here app service provider here we need to uh, import uh, the passport so here I use and it's going to be Laravel Laravel and passport all right and we need to use it and we need to call and set boot method passport and routes Okay, so this way it is going to be called and going to be used. Now another thing we need to say, we need to go in config, then auth, and here inside guards we have web, but we need to work with API, so we are going to add for API. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the web, and I'm going to put here like this, and we need to change this to API, and driver going to be passport. And we have provider users. And one more thing we need to add here, which is going to be the hash. And I'm going to pass the value to it false. And this is the this is all the settings required to so save this. Now we have the tables in the database, but we haven't uh, done anything with these tables. So basically, I need to run a command, but it's going to. So here we say PHP artisan and passport install and we get the okay i uh, mistakenly added laravel here it needs to be passport passport now when you add a new class you can uh, run the composer command to load the classes so it is uh, basically composer uh, dump auto load so it is going to load all the classes now it is done, we can run the install command and we get the client ID and client secret. Now when we are going to work with the APIs, we are going to use this detail and this detail is already saved in the database as well. If you go into the um, database here in the alt clients, when you click there, you will see the secret key here uh, and generator that's saved right here. If you see it's the same uh, secret, which is showing up here so yeah that's useful so for the setup point of view we are almost done so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, add a user and that's all i'm going to do now so I'm, for that i'm going to run the tinker command so i want to add a user in the app and how we can do this and we can do it using the laravel tinker so if i go and see here uh, php artisan laravel uh, sorry, PHP Artisan Tinker. 
we hit this, uh, it opens this uh, command where we can uh, deal with the models. Now to see if you have the Tinker already installed or not, you can simply go into your app as it's Laravel and latest version, so you should be having it. But if you want to check, you can go in composer.json. Here, you will see that it is included. So we have the Laravel Tinker pre-installed here. So when you run the composer command, composer install it, install it, it automatically. Now here, what I'm gonna do, I wanna add the user, so I say here DB, and then table is users. And I want to insert one user there. So here, I'm going to pass an array. So the value is going to be the, if we see the users table, we go in users, we have name, email, these values. So we need to put these values here. So we need to basically pass his name and we pass it to something like this. So name going to be, I'm going to pass menu. Second value going to be the email. Which is going to be menu at And the third value going to be the password, which is the most important value required. And I forgot to add the columns, so make sure you add them. And here we need to pass the hash method, and basically it is going to uh, convert our uh, password to the way uh, it is encrypted so that it won't be able to access uh, from the database uh, just for security purposes. You can say hash, and you need to say make. And inside here, you need to pass the password as it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Annoying password, but it's gonna go and do the stuff. So hit this, we get true. If I go here and refresh, you can see that. You can see that it encrypted it. For closing the Tinker, you simply say exit. Now, basically we can uh, do all the operations from the command line if you want to work and do uh, using command line and check something you can do here. So for example, we just can call the model. So here, if we go here and see HTTP, uh, sorry, models, here we have user model. So here in Tinker, you can say user and simply say find. Now we just created a user there and with the ID of one. So if we provide the ID here, and hit this, it gets us the detail. So this is something useful. We can use the Tinker and we will be using it. Simply put exit to exit from the Tinker and you come straight to the directory. So clear to clear the screen. If you like the content of this channel and you want me to create more videos like this, please support me on Patreon. You can also subscribe to this channel, like this video and share with others. Thank you for watching.